Well, hello there, people from the internet. I be the Russian sniper, and this is some Battlefield 3. Now, to my shame, it's been quite a long time since I've actually played any Battlefield 3. Since the release of Battlefield 4, I haven't really touched it, and that makes it kind of about two years since I've not really played any Battlefield 3. But I did have friends who tried Battlefield 4 early on, didn't really sort of feel like it's going to be the game for me, and they kind of stuck it out all these years. So you're looking at a good four years that people have been playing this game. So today I've decided, if, see, see if you still sort of remember your Battlefield 3 as you sort of did back in the day. You probably played hundreds of hours of it. Maybe you'll remember a few things on a little quiz of Battlefield 3. So let's go ahead and test your knowledge and here we go. Who are the two factions fighting in the online battles? Is it the US and Russia? China and the US? Is it Russia and China? Or is it the US and Afghanistan? Question number two. How many main DLCs are up for purchase in Battlefield 3? One, two, three, or four? Question number five. How many 19M1911 models are there in the game, DLC included? One, two, three, or is it four? What was the last mission in the campaign? The Great Destroyer, Operation Swordbreaker, Uprising, or was it Operation Guillotine? What year did Battlefield 3 came out? Was it 2010, 2011, 2012, or was it 2013? Now let's get a bit technical with some multiplayer stuff. Now what is the standard weapons for the beginners on both sides for the engineer class? Is it the M16A3 and the AK-74M? Is it the Scar H and the AK-47? Or is it the M4A1 and the AK-74U? In Operation Swordbreaker, what is your call sign? Is it Misfit 1-3? Is it Recon Squad? Is he Veterans? Or is it Rookies? And the last question is, how many missions could you play as co-op with your friends? 2, 4, 6 or 8? And that's it. Hopefully you've got, you've got all of them, I should say. I'm trying to make them accessible to everybody and I'm not going to go deep into asking you what kind of ammo the M16A3 uses or anything like that. So I'm going to try and make them as sort of accessible to everybody. The stuff like this you should remember since you played hundreds of hours of multiplayer. You have to play the campaign because you have to unlock a certain amount of weapons. And that's kind of one of the reasons why a lot of people are playing most of these is just to unlock certain things because you just have to. But... For me personally, I love Battlefield 3. I think it was a good game. It's definitely something that came out after Bad Company. Uh, Bad Company 2 was just an amazing game and we don't need to talk about that right now. But we all know that Battlefield 3 has always been one of those games that's going to be remembered as the next sort of big step. You know, after Battlefield 2, everybody is sort of expecting what's going to be next. And Battlefield 3 didn't disappoint one bit. It was actually a good game. Sure, it had its own issues and it had its own problems that never really got fixed, even though it's four years later and stuff like that still exists in the game that's not really been addressed. But hey, it didn't really matter. We moved on. Some people stayed behind, but we moved on. And now we look forward to Battlefield 1, which it's kind of funny for me since I can't really talk about it. I played the sort of closed alpha. I played the game at EA Play, but I'm sort of playing the alpha that you can't talk about, but you can talk about the EA Play that you played, which is basically the same game. I don't think they've changed anything, maybe a few textures here and there and a few minor things, but more or less it's basically the same game. So I hope that NDA is going to be lifted at some point and you'll be allowed to sort of post footage and you'll be allowed to sort of do certain things. But as it is so far, unfortunately, I cannot say too much about it anyway. So. As soon as I'm allowed to, I'll be definitely giving you uh, all the information, all the stuff that I've gotten from the game. You know, there's going to be plenty of stuff in there that's going to be pretty fun. And there's going to be a few things that are going to be annoying, you know, some OP stuff and things like that, which we're going to talk about. But then again, it's early on. It's not even the close alpha is not even finished yet. It's still going on. It's still an open beta to come. The game still has to get released. You know, there's still so much to see in Battlefield 1 plus we're gonna have another year or two playing it until the next game comes out maybe even two we we'll just have to wait and see so we'll get plenty of Battlefield 1 you don't have to worry about that anytime soon 
as for the HTML file that I mentioned, I'm going to try and get into the videos just to make the sort of quiz a little bit more interactive where you can click the question, click the answer, then click next to the next one and so on. I've got it worked out to a stage where you could do pretty much everything, but the final step is not actually showing me the score, you know, the result of what you got. So I must have done something wrong somewhere, but I'm still going to work on it and eventually I'll get it working. So polish up on 1942 or maybe 2142 because that might be dropping next. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.